Okay, something arrived in the mail today. I wonder what it is, but I'd like to assume this is the interior I ordered from China. I wouldn't say it's a knockoff, but in the description when they bought it, it just looks like um, the Proline one. Proline interior. But of course, this is not Proline. Here it is. I ordered a pre painted one. There are three choices. You can get a uh, clear, red, and black. Now I ordered black with a um, beige interior. I wish this is a real steering wheel. I, or I wish I they don't have to um, mold the steering wheel here and put a separate like real steering wheel here. But We'll see. And it comes with the stickers for the dash. We'll see how it fits. Okay, here it is. Um, I'm planning to put it, this is my primary plan, just to put it in my this Cherokee body. It's for my actual ACX 10 2. So, for now, I can see. Of course, it fit in. But for me, the the, the seats are quite are quite narrow. It's like they're more in the middle. But yeah, you can't really tell. There's more. There's too much space on the side from the this the back seat to the window. There's too much gap. But maybe because this Cherokee body is quite wider than you know than the previous bodies like the Komodo here, it's narrower. The new Cherokee body from ECX 102 is quite wider. Regardless, it fits. And then the distance from the front seats to the back seats lined up with with the windows so um, we just start cutting that problem guys because the post actually hit this point here so it's either you cut it till here just to make sure you cut it nice and clean because this is where the post goes to get to the body mounts First, most important thing is to align the seats, the window, and of course the dash here. It's the most important part there. To make it look real. Maybe we can get away just by cutting a little part here. That should be good then.
here it is. Interior from China for less than twenty dollars. Actually, it cost me thirteen dollars plus about three dollars for the shipping. 